Do you see the two, th no, the two no. things as <clears throat> incompatible? That's not my understanding of Christianity. That's not my understanding of the Bible. These days, many Christians reduce the Bible to allegory. They say that it is not historically accurate. They believe that God of all does. They are either confused creationists, ignorant of evolution, or both. To believe in evolution and the Christian God is the pinnacle of ignorance. It turns God into an incompetent, trial-and-error creator whose own book is full of lies. To turn the Christian God of the Bible into some divine being overwatching evolution is to twist him into something he is not. Let's try to reconcile evolution and Jesus by looking at original sin. How did man acquire this original sin? The Bible tells us that original sin is passed down through generations from father to son, mother to daughter. I decided to see if this is historically viable. For original sin to be historical, Adam and Eve must have been in Africa. After humans left Africa, there is no chance that original sin could be inherited. Human remains as far back as 75,000 years ago have been found in India. Not long after that, humans were found in areas of Australia and Europe. Humans then traveled across the Bering Strait and were forever trapped to North and South America when the ice age ended 10,000 years ago and the sea, sea levels rose. So at this point, Adam and Eve must have been black-skinned humanoids living in a tribe of hunters and gatherers. How could this be true? Original sin in the savanna of Africa? Did Eve eat off the wrong fruit tree? I doubt it. Yet these are the conclusions we come to if we mix Jesus and evolution. They are not compatible. The Catholic Church has yet to offer a compelling argument on how a God evolved us from apes and then forbids us to eat fruit off the trees of Africa. It is like things that these make people realize it is futile to try and mesh Jesus and evolution. And so here we are, we humans want to believe in God. We want to have a nice place to go when we die, to have a loving father in the sky. However, when we accumulate overwhelming evidence for things like evolution that directly refute Christianity, we are stuck at a crossroads. Do we continue to believe in things that we now know are not true? Or do we stoically accept the death that is the end of us? It's your decision, and it's a hard one. Luckily, you have the rest of your life to make it. There are over 33,000 verses in the Bible, and the credibility of every one hinges on the truth of the very first one. For if God did not create in the beginning, then He's a liar, and we can throw the Bible away. This completely neutralized the Bible, reducing it to nothing but a collection of fables. Hi. My name is Eric Hovind, and I want to thank you for taking time to watch this. The time of the gods has come to an end!